Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. I'm playing Stick It to the Man. This is a weird and wonderful 2D, well, 2.5D platformer that I've heard compared to Psychonauts a lot. And now that I've played Psychonauts, I can kind of see it. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just go straight into this game now. And, you know, let's see, before anything else, let's make sure we got subtitles on. And I'm not going to reveal too much about the game. Let's just launch right in and see what weirdness awaits us. Chapter 1, A Hard Hat's Night. Space. Final frontier. That's what it's called, right? It's beautiful. Endless. Feel the warmth of the sun millions of kilometers away on my skin without any atmosphere to stand between us. The upside is it's a truly amazing feeling. The downside is I'm truly about to die. Who would have guessed I'd die floating alone in space? You know, I mean, until now, I've never been any higher up than the top floor of my apartment building, and I only went up there once. My mistake. It all started yesterday. Ordinary day like, uh, like any other. It's un until I got hit on the head. Ouch! Jeez! That was a three-star impact, Wally. Uh, this one needs some work. Three stars? You sure, Ray? R&D insisted this one be a one-star hothead. One and a half drops. That's some quality hothats you're testing. You want to trade spots and see for yourself? Three stars. Didn't notice any birds flying around my head, though. That's something. All right. This one's next. It's a new material R&D wants to try. It says here it's based mostly on recycled banana peels and used juice boxes. Saved by the bell, huh? Oh, see you tomorrow, buddy. So, meet Ray, our main character. So, it's a 2.5D platform. You're, you can go back and forth between the front and background a little bit, but that's kind of a minor part. Let's go ahead and head to home. Ray, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you actually live all the way to the left. Weird, huh? So, now I'm playing this on PS4, and if you do, you press the square button, it'll actually pull up a map. So pretty simple map of this area. We just need to head all the way to the left. Also, can I just say, I love the sheer silliness to the art style, everything you're seeing here. It's a lot of fun. Also, Mr. Copy. No experience required. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. What does Mr. Copy do, you ask? Well, they're checkpoints. Let's say you fall into a pit. Mr. Copy creates a new one of you. Simple as that. So there aren't lives. You can die as many times as you want. Though, you know, we'll try to die as little as possible. This is Gamma 3. We've encountered storm systems too large to go around without delaying landing time. Uh, please advise. Gamma 3? Sean, you told me your name was Jimmy. Oh dear. And let's see, we start jumping up here. You can actually, as you see, grab onto ledges that are just a little out of reach to pull yourself up. Now I always forget how much jumping is required to get to and from work. Hmm, some of these characters are interesting. We may see them again. Please respond base, storm now intensifying beyond safety thresholds. Unusually intense lightning activity observed, attempting to abort, uh, emergency support requested. Wow! Plane made out of paper can't take the heat, huh? Or even a little rain? I bet those eggheads you thought up a paper airplane was a great idea, because it wouldn't be detected by enemy radar. I'm feeling pretty smart right now. Tell me you didn't get them to redesign our parachutes, too. Oh, something tells me these guys on the plane are not in for a good time. Mayday. Oh, Mayday. The lightning now at level 5 alert. 
The Omega level package is in danger. Repeat, the Omega level package. Son, I appreciate your concern, but my package is in This doesn't look good. In fact, this looks very, very, very bad. But I mean, hey, just something plummeting to Earth. What's the worst that could happen? And that's the end of chapter one. The first one's kind of short. So that's getting a little more interesting in chapter two. Oh, where am I? What's this spaghetti arm doing sticking out of my head? Okay, stay calm, Ray. Last thing I remember was leaving work and jumping a lot. And then getting it on the head. Of course. Uh, the hand growing out of my head, and this whole crazy world is all a dream. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, since it's a dream, we can just take a swim. Nah, I won't let us jump off the edge. So, this crazy sticky hand sticking out of our head is the main gimmick of the game. We'll find out about it a little bit here hey, with... Nice work, me. I know my subconscious. This bottle will have something inside it to help me get off this island. So you can use the right control stick to move the hand around and aim. Whenever you see something glowing with that circle, you can press R1 or R2 to grab it. High five me, Ray. High five me, Ray. I give the best high fives, Ray. High five me instead. Ray, you may think you know high fives, but you haven't experienced a high five until you've high five me. Please, please, crazy pin creatures, one at a time. I'll high five all of you, I promise. Why not, right? Might as well use this crazy hand for something. And this looks like it'll be fun. Now, something interesting you'll notice is we have that cork in our hand. This is a sticker. A cork is a useful thing if you want to keep water from getting into something. Again, I'm not sure why I'm reminding myself of these things. You know what corks are, Ray. You got this. So, yeah, it's weird, but we'll get used to it. Now, much like how we grab the cork, aim towards one of the red pins and pull yourself up. And wait for a platform to come back. Also, I love the pictures of people in the back of his mind here. And here specifically, it actually wants us to use the touchpad. So since we're on PS4, just by moving the finger around the touchpad, I can move this cursor. When it's on it, tap the touchpad, and it's the same as hitting the R1 or R2 button. It helps you get a little more precise with where you're wanting to grab, which helps when there's multiple things on screen at once. For now, though, let's just keep heading to the right, and what do we find here? Hey, cool! A giant robot! Wait, these colossal fingers look familiar. Yeah, let's just ignore it. Nope. Just water over there. So, let's head up. Keep climbing. Oh wow, no way! A giant me robot. Yeah, that's that's not creepy or disturbing at all. So anytime you see a paper wall, which is a little bit of the scenery coming loose, you can grab it, much like you can a sticker. Okay. And peel it away. So my head is flooded with elephant juice inside are a bunch of gears that aren't moving which probably means i'm knocked out and i need to drain the water from my brain got it help help i can't hold my breath forever oh and there's a creature swimming around in my head 
Not sure what to make of that one, honestly. Uh, can you uh, hear me, little guy? Help! Help! I can't hold my breath forever! Huh. Alright. Apparently not. So, we have to somehow flood the water out of his brain. Let's grab this pipe that's hanging up here. I wonder if it's scratch and sniff. It is. And it smells like a sticker. Neat. <laughs> sure, Ray. So you can see the uh, dotted circle there. Let's put the sticker of the cork there. Nope, doesn't let you use the wrong sticker. So let's put the water tap. Is a useful thing if you want to send water out or something. I don't know why I'm reminding myself of this. I know what a tap is, me. <laughs> so yeah, in case you want a little clue as to what you're supposed to do with the stickers, you can select them and he'll talk as long as you stand still. So let's toss the tap on there. And hey, it's draining the water out. Except the water level's not lowering at all. So let's head on up. Pouring water through a hole in my head. Hm, I didn't bring my dream symbolism app with me, but I'm guessing this means I'm a confident, handsome man that everybody loves. <laughs> Probably, right? Sure. What it means is that we need to stop the water getting in his brain, so plug it with the cork. Crazy alien creature thing. Finally dry at last. But the controls don't work. I need power. If only there was a way to get that heart working again. Hmm. Well, it looks like. Oh, also, I love the elephants asleep up here. Just dreaming. So we need to head down where we saw the heart now has a paper fold to grab. Let's do that. Yoo-hoo, heart! Come here, heart! Heart, come here, girl! I miss you! Weird. My girlfriend lives in Robot Me's heart. And she's calling for a dog named Heart. Dreams are crazy. Oh well. At least I'm not back in high school and also naked in this one. Again. You got some weird dreams, Ray, that apparently recur. So we're going to just move on past that. What's up, buddy? Can you, you gonna talk to me? No. So let's jump off to the right here. And eventually we'll come to a new section with its heart. Hey, little guy, uh, you're Hart, Arlene's dream dog, aren't you? How's it going, Hart? Oh, there's a good girl. Oh, so sweet. But we can't pick up Hart, and we have to find a way to get her back over to the robot. Let's keep going to the right. Now, anytime you see one of those little faces there that don't have a pin on them, touch it, and it'll spin around, revealing. A quick grab pin. This is helpful because sometimes you'll need it to get back to places or whoops or you could just fall off. <laughs> uh, a lot of times that's helpful for you know jumping between one area or another of a level. Oh hello who's this? buddy you're just a figment of my imagination and this is all a dream you I. it occurs to me that in real life skeletons don't talk will you do an old sea dog a favor and dream me back to life again well i, I kind of need to lead this dog back to my girlfriend you've got an arm made of bone so i hear you landlubber well I'd be happy to lend a hand. Hmm. Well, why don't we take him up on his offer? <laughs> I just realized how well lend a hand worked back there. That wasn't even on purpose. 
Yep, we've got a bone arm. A bony hand. It's definitely not suspicious to be carrying this around. <laughs> or I guess bony hand, not necessarily bone arm. So here, I can't get back up on the platform because it's too high up. So thank goodness we've got our little shortcut back. So yeah, you can see, now that we have the bony hand, heart will follow us. So the main gimmick of this game is using stickers to solve puzzles. It's kind of like a point and click adventure game mixed with a platformer. Come on, heart. Keep following me. We're almost back. All right, now that we've arrived, let's toss the hand in the bowl. Heart, you came back. What a good girl. Who's a good girl? If you are, you're the best girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love you, Heart. I always knew Eileen was the woman of my dreams. But it's nice to have it confirmed. All the pieces are in place. I was just about to leave. Now I think I'll stay after all. Yes, I'll be able to stay here indefinitely. As long as the host survives. Wait. Wait, wait, what? 